This is Twit. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. One third of information security jobs require a cybersecurity certification. While organizations are hungry for cybersecurity talent, the cyber skills gap grows daily. The average salary for cybersecurity specialists is $116,000. ACI Learning's programs can get you certified. To maintain your competitive edge across audit, IT, and cybersecurity readiness, visit go.acilearning.com slash twit. Well, uh, we were talking earlier in the show about AI, um, and if you're looking for some cool AI-ness stuff to come to your Google world, uh, Google Messages or Android Messages will start, will soon get a new AI-powered feature called Magic Compose. Um, and actually, if like we're taking compose? bets on what, what, what might appear tomorrow at Google I.O., this could show up Maybe. in the presentation. We'll see. Um, and basically, this will give you a little assistance in writing your your, your messages. Um, and so like tone or style, so you can have a formal message versus informal uh, to delightful, where you can get across excited, uh, you know, feeling excited. Uh, you can also use the uh, music notes emo emoji for lyrical responses for the kind yeah. of musical stuff. Um, and each of these will take what you've written and offer suggestions on how they can be rewritten in those styles. So if I want to tell Jason, you know, can't wait to be there tomorrow, and I say, oh, I want it to be more excited, it'll make the response that much more excited. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It seems what, like a lot of work for what, a text message. Yes, it does. So, yeah. okay. So, one of these. I want them to get the message and then propose, like, here's your response, yes or no. Like, right. Yeah, you know, like, write it for me in advance. Don't, don't zhuzh up what I've done. So, 9 to 5 <laughs> Google has the example. Yeah. It's a response to a, 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 te a, a text thread um, where the response is, okay, I'll move the van. And they, they triggered the lyrical. Uh, suggestion, which actually wrote like a poem. Nice. So it took, okay, I'll move the van to, uh, sure, I'll move the van. I'll do it right away. I'll get it out of the way so you can have your space. It's a really horrible poem. <laughs> That's say. really not good poem. But, yeah. <laughs> but uh, okay. Uh, it's a strange, uh, strange uh, example, I guess, is what. Could, could you I'm imagine thinking. you're just in an in an in a urgent situation where you just need to communicate with someone? You accidentally hit the zhuzh it up to be like a haiku or something. And I don't understand other, what this like, guy's saying. What is going on? I, <laughs> what is this person? It, but saying? I do. Th I do think. Ma I think the term magic compose could be used for like. You send me a message. It's like, hey, you got this message. Here's a response. Is this what you were going to say? Like, anticipate what my response is going to be. But the, well, that's, that was kind of the yeah. promise of Smart Reply, right? Yeah. Yeah. Except yeah, yeah. what we've realized in yeah. using Smart Reply is it's very like specific to a few ca very canned yeah. things. Yep. It's not why it doesn't have a wider context to it outside of communication amongst humans is very difficult for machines to understand. Wait, this, is uh, this is what we're learning. So I actually yeah. have a very funny story with Smart Reply. I um, I was messaging my husband for something in the kitchen. I, I said I sent him, um, "Baby, can you help me?" And apparently, Smart Reply only gave him the response, "No." Like that was yes. the only <laughs> Smart Reply. Right, right. That was it. I was like. And then he just sent me a screenshot of that and then eventually came up and helped me after he stopped laughing. Like, to your point, sometimes yeah. the machines don't understand context, but I, I do like this. Oh, it's a pretty succinct answer. It, 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 if, you, if you just need to get the point across, like well, I cannot but, and I only have one that, word but, and the amount of time to hit that button. But that is true. And that's what that's what will be the failing, or not the failing, but the challenge with all this AI stuff and ChatGPT and BARD and all this sort of stuff. And it goes back to the conversations I've had with social media um, vendors so, like applications that do sentiment uh, tracking or sentiment yeah. analysis yeah. on social media. And the example I always give when I'm talking to these vendors because I'm trying to use them for work is like it's very helpful to get to get a sense of, hey, we put this out there. Do people like it or don't like it, right? And generally, everyone I see, you get like, a third like it, a third don't like it, and in the middle undetermined because the because the algorithms don't understand the nuance of language. And especially in our kind of geek world, you get a lot of people saying, oh my God, this is the S. Right, yeah. the, I don't want to say I don't want to say the curse on air, but like this is the, the, the right, right, and they will see the curse and assume it's negative, mm. even though that line is a very positive sentiment that I, I want see. to be seen, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's just an example of how much nuance in English language there is, and why it's nearly impossible for AI to figure that stuff out. So, yeah. and there's always yeah. going to be a gap because it's yeah. learning based on you know data from us. So you know if if human culture moves forward, it's still going to take a while for that. It's for always that, playing catch. Yeah, up. it's always playing catch up. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Fascinating stuff.